Ladies and gentlemen, good evening. Papa Boris here, playing some more Krumit's Tale. Time to begin the second third of our run with Bruno on normal difficulty because I failed horrifically last time I played as him. Haven't really been offered much in the way of armors, but, you know, there's a little bit here. Okay, tough board, Jesus. But luckily, I do have this peasant here that I can kill, taking only one damage thanks to my newly acquired chill stamp. And, I mean, Jesus, this just sucks. This just sucks a great unholy quantity of dicks. Uh, these are just, you know, these are more end game type of things. I need two more gold to use this. Globber, you take a bunch of damage if you um, don't block its first attack. I could taunt. The weird thing about taunt is it would just put back three things, and then I'd be down to zero gold. So what am I really getting? Oh, it would put back four things. I'd get some new stuff, maybe an easy enemy. All right, I'm going to gamble with the taunt. So we're going to put four things back. I'm not getting much value for making that stuff cheaper, especially not the healing vial, obviously. But um, what it does do is it gives me four new things coming in. So I'm hoping to get some more of the peasants or something. Okay, well, the crowbar is amazing. But I need to kill something to get the gold I need along with this chest that's coming up, which is also amazing to kill it. So, Globber, how much damage do you take? You take two, five, six damage. Jeez. Maybe I should have, maybe I should have picked up that health potion, actually. Hmm. I mean, I could execute the Globber, I guess. Seems like a weird thing to do, executing a Globber. No, you know what? Let's just do it. It's going to be a lot. The the chill stamp is wasted here because on this attack, it doesn't actually do damage. And then I need to hit it an extra time because that stupid one armor it gets. See, so yeah, I took seven damage to kill that Globber in the raw. But, now we pick up this chest that conveniently dropped down, we pick up this crowbar. Okay, so now I can break any of these bitches' armors. Question is, how good is it to break this thing's armor? So what I could do is I could hit it, let it put up the block, break it then, and then my plate mail does not actually block the hit. I would take two net damage, and then he'd be at... Oh, it's annoying. I don't kill him because then he gets this extra stupid block here. God, that's so annoying. All right, then. We're going to go ahead and do these guys. So this, and then... Uh, do I take four damage? No, we'll, we'll block that and just kill it. The thorniness, unfortunately, does not help me at all. Now, I do have another freaking crowbar in there, so I guess we'll just do this more. Just keep on doing it. Oh, and I can, I can taunt... Uh, well, we'll pick up the gold first, and then I think I should just do this. Might as well get rid of all those guys, get my three gold back, and then put another item in here, and then taunt. Alright, thank you, a peasant. Peasants are amazing when you have the chill stamp, because the first attack deals the least amount of damage, and then you don't take any damage on the second attack. So now I only took one net damage there, which is great. And there's the other crowbar, which is good. And with this, I can actually now handle this Necromancer 2.0. So we're actually going to buy the crowbar and the plate helm. Ah, now if I break the armor, I waste the healing. Where can I take damage, though? Yeah, there's nowhere I'm going to take damage and, like, not hate my life. So, yeah, we're just going to waste the healing. It's fine. So what I'm going to do, even though this attack is wasted, I'm, I'm dealing two that doesn't actually matter in the end. So that I can then break the four with my crowbar. Bloop, bye bye. And then we'll block the six here, which is terrific. And deal an extra two with the thorniness. It wouldn't have actually mattered though, because it's parried. That's, this is just one of those things like, oh no, actually it does matter, because it kills it before the block comes down. That actually does make a difference, interesting. Okay, now I gotta use this. Oh, because of the thorniness, I actually can kill this without destroying its armor. Interesting. Yeah, see, I kill it right here. And that, that extra two damage made a difference. Very interesting. Okay, so this chainmail, finally. I'm going to just use the chainmail to kill both these globbers. So the globbers are, they're going to deal seven damage to you. Normally. Which turns into zero if you have a chainmail. Wait, is that is that correct math? Hold on. So normally, it's two. You need four hits to kill it because of this armor. So it's going to deal two plus three is five it's six damage normally okay 
Well, okay, so six damage that turns into zero. Still, pretty good. Pretty good chainmail there. Chainmail is just a remarkably effective thing against clobbers. Okay, so do I want to use this? No, I don't want to use this taunt. I don't care about this taunt. I'm fine with everything as it is. We're just going to go ahead now and kill this guy. The same strategy. Shields up. Oh, you have a shield? Sorry, your life sucks. And then we're going to block the six. The thorns, I gotta say the thorns do come in handy. It's, it's actually not bad. Maybe I should give that stamp a little bit more credit than I am currently giving it. Okay, let's just use the plate mail. I'm not gonna overanalyze about how to save tiles. Okay, there's a chain mail. Yeah, I'm actually gonna use this taunt just to get the chain mail to appear. So I can buy this chain mail and then use it to kill this. Oh, I didn't need it. The Globber's the last enemy. Oops. Well, that was a bit silly. Wasted a smidgen of time. It's fine, though. Okay, I'd say that was pretty good. Pretty good. We got a bunch of gems, too. That's excellent. 75. Oh, yeah. Okay. Well, we got garbage. This is garbage. I mean, it's not garbage. Ah, this does have synergy with a crowbar because you can restore all the durability to the plate mail that you get from the crowbar i guess it's not terrible sort of i'm just gonna take another one of these it's a little bit risky but if i ever do get the jester stamp or the balance stamp these become incredibly strong and if i'm just pitching them in order to uh get golden health i'm fine with that too right, we got some really good um options here so the giant slayer is always great it's only on bosses but sometimes you know bosses are like a big puzzle how are you going to kill a boss and this helps a lot martial artist though is plus one versus everything and i almost never equip weapons it does reduce the effectiveness of my claymore from seven to six it's going to look like it's from seven to five but basically like when you have the martial stamp and you equip a weapon you basically do one less damage with that weapon than if you didn't have the martial stamp and equip the weapon. So right now, if I equip a claymore, I deal nine damage. If I'm a martial and I equip the claymore, it's gonna deal eight damage. But it's still really good to have that claymore and every other time now I do plus one damage. I'm gonna take that. Okay, well, some interesting options here. So this is interesting. This is interesting because this fuels this. What is this? Quiet target will cost two or less and add an additional copy. That's kind of interesting, but yeah, I'm not gonna use that for two or less cost weapons. My claymore costs three. I'm gonna grab the, the, the dragon's gold. I think that's useful. I don't want a third one of these. I think it's a little bit greedy. I don't think I want a second one of those either. And I'm not gonna go for this. I haven't gotten like the stout stamp or anything. I'm gonna just spend some gems to reroll. Okay. Well, kind of sucks. Hamstring, I'm gonna get its nice little workhorse, although I didn't lose the game because of it last time. This thing is whatever, so we're gonna get this lockbox because sometimes you get good stuff out of it. And now we got a pitch, at long last, my last short sword. And now we're starting to kind of cut to the bone a little bit. Do you get rid of the? I think you gotta get rid of the bucket helm here before you get rid of your chest. So we'll get rid of the bucket helm. Okay. Okay, this looks good. Let's fight at the Meteor Fall Tavern. Dungeon number five. Okay, so now with the chill stamp and the brawler stamp, I can do some sick work. Although, maybe not against any of these guys. Like, these guys are going to do a number on me, and they kind of dodge the chill stamp because their middle thing is sleeping. Um, and then these guys just pound you really hard out of the gates, and their next attack is blitz. Okay, going to need to work up to getting rid of those guys. But you... What are you, three, then two? Well, it's three, then nothing, and then I kill it. So, yes, I take three net damage from this guy, which I'm fine with to get a gold. Thank you, Brawler. Stamp, I appreciate the assistance. And then this I take just two net damage, although the Brawler stamp does that by itself. I don't actually need the chill stamp for that. Okay, I need one more gold to get this, which lets me kill one of those guys. Let me pick up wait no i need to i need to get a gold here ah oh, this is annoying i mean i could go ahead and i'm gonna taunt this is a little bit risky i'm gonna taunt there's a bunch of stuff here i could potentially buy and i want to i want an easier monster to appear this level does have easier monsters like these bitches so i want to get some gold from them and then you know get up to the good stuff 
Okay. Well, so I could get this execute and use it against the Vagabonds, but I think we'll take the Plate Helm. This is fine. So I heal for two, which I need. And now... Oh my god, that Thorn Stamp is so good! Oh, jeez, that's really good. Shoot, that's an, that's amazing. Because, basically, if you hit this thing three times, it's at one health, and then it hits you for this big attack. Oh, well... Oh, I forgot the parry and the chill carries over. Oh, well, never mind. I didn't actually need the thorns. It's fine, though. I'm still excited. So, yeah. Let's go ahead and just do this, because I'm definitely going to want to anyways. So now we parry the blitz attack, and then we kill it. The th I guess the thorn stamp was not relevant there, but it does speed up the fight. So there's that. I am actually just going to taunt here simply to get more enemies to appear, because I want some easy stuff. Wow, there's just no easy stuff here. Okay. Um, well, I could just get the Claymore. It's, when you have the Brawler stamp, you have to read it as, like, having a minus two. So it's basically kind of like a five. So three plus five is eight, and I can one-shot both these guys. Yeah, let's just do that. I get my money back, I might as well just do it. Okay. Blorp and Blorp. Okay. So now, what do we do? Well, I think I'll just use my last tick of the plate helm to kill one of these guys. This is fine. I think these are a bit harder than those berserkers, I think. Okay, and I guess we're gonna taunt here. Man, this taunt's been pretty useful just to get more enemies to show up. Let's take a damage to get a coin. Okay, now we get a free lockbox. I could potentially get something good here, like a uh, an armor or something would be nice. Didn't happen. Okay, well, that's just lovely. Six damage or tranquil. I'm going to tranquilize. I think it's actually a little better than six damage here. And I'm actually going to flex. It's a bit of a risk. But now I have a base attack of four. I think that just makes it a lot easier. So we're going to um, tranquilize that. Hit it. Tranquilize this. Hit it. So basically I used two-thirds of a tranquilizer to kill that without taking any damage. That seems pretty legit. And now I'm just going to keep it real simple. We're going to take this execute that's free. I'm going to tranquilize this attack that was going to be lethal. Damage him. And then execute him. Okay, I'll pick up this bow and just shoot her to death. And now we'll taunt. Okay, so these guys that add the stupid to your inventory. Now this thing is actually free. So I'm gonna pick it up to heal, and I can use it two times. So let's use it now to block three damage for a gold. Remember, gold does not give you any bonuses at the end of a dungeon. So, you know, there's no harm with using this liberally if you don't need the gold. And and in fact, if you only have to use it one time to kill something, then you get the gold back and you can use it indefinitely. It's potentially a very strong item. When the item struggles is when you need to use it more than one time to kill a given enemy. Then, you know, you need to have like a cache of gold built up so you can keep using it repeatedly. Okay, I would say all in all that was pretty, considering how scary that was at the beginning, I think that went pretty well. And now we're going to fight our mid-game boss. Ugh, I don't like these tiles. Let me see what the stamp is first. Uh, full health, not gonna happen much. This can be good. I hate having to discard two items. God, if it was like discard one item or discard two of any tile, but having to discard specifically two items to get back one durability is just so annoying. I'm just gonna take rich. Two gold is good to start with. It makes you more flexible early on and it's a safe pick. Okay. So I don't think I want a third one of these. I don't think I want a third of those either. We're just going to take this. Even though it's mediocre armor, it's armor. And I'm just not seeing good armor for some reason in this level. Finally! Jesus Christ, we got a good armor. Oh, yes. Eight block for two gold, three uses. Mmm, mmm, mmm. That's some tasty goodness. This stuff I don't think I want. I don't want a second one of those. We're going to just pay 15 gems to recharge because we're swimming in gems here. Okay. There's some nice, there's some nice stuff here. So, this is just a nice tech choice, but it's basically only an attack of two at this point, because I got the brawler, so it's kind of like ideal five damage with it. 
That'll kill some things, like the four health guys, but crucially, it does not kill the big two health, or the big six health guys. What I'm gonna do is pick up another lockbox and another claymore. Now, we gotta throw out a couple of things. I think now I can throw out a chain mail, because it's starting to become a bit lackluster. And I'm also gonna throw out um, this chest, because that's very lackluster indeed. So we're gonna wrap it up and continue on to this guy. This is the guy that when you discard a tile, the top tile of the deck is discarded, so you can use that to destroy big enemies, but you have to be careful not to lose crucial items to it as well. And by the way, there's nothing wrong with killing big enemies through that me mechanism. You don't get the gold for it, but it doesn't actually matter. It doesn't affect like your gems at the end. It might affect your score, but I don't care about score, so who cares? Okay, good start here. We get to take this chest, and I can actually get this flex right now. I am not going to rush into anything, though. Let's just go ahead and take two damage to kill a skeleton and get a gold. And then kind of think about where we're at in life. Gosh, this, you know, this taunt's just been sort of useful. Let's grab this taunt. I want to make sure I get one of these crowbars, so we're going to get the crowbar. This actually would be useful to kill the cultists with. Hmm. You know what? Okay, I was going to taunt right now, but I'm going to actually do this first. Let's kill this guy. Taking zero damage. Okay, and then that gives me the gold I need for the plate helm, and then we're going to taunt. So the idea is that now, with this plate helm, I can murdelate these cultists without taking any damage. And then we can just reevaluate from there. Oh, you know, a lot of these... 14 health bitches came up. The thing is, I've got that 8 armor thing that lets me kill them in one hit. So I'm cool with it. And I can also use these drums in a pinch if I need to. Um, Alright, let's go ahead and just kill this, taking 2 damage for a gold. Just to also kind of see what's coming down the pike. Alright, nothing great. Let's taunt to get all this stuff out of the way. Okay, exactly what I wanted. We're going to take this heal for two, and we're going to kill all three of these top tier difficulty enemies without taking any damage. Because the chill carries over with parry. Oh shoot, did I waste another tick? Oh, thank god, I thought I did, but I didn't. Phew. Okay, so let's go ahead and just do it here. So I, I paid two gold for this, and I'm going to kill three of these guys with it. Now, I, I do need help from the chill stamp with that. Um, because if the, he weren't frozen here, obviously I would take eight damage. But be that as it may, I paid two gold and I killed three of like the hardest enemies in the game without taking any damage, and now I actually gained a gold on the exchange, so that ended up working out very well for yours truly, Papa B. Now, here, um, I could just kill these guys. Yeah, let's, let's actually first take two damage to kill a skeleton. And the reason for this is not just for the gold, although the gold is nice, but also so that when I blow this guy's armor up, I heal from the plate armor. Because remember, when you get a plate armor from the crowbar, you acquire the armor, so it triggers your starting stamp. Now we can just kill this and not take any damage. And I'm going to do that again. I have two crowbars. I really have no reason to save my crowbars. Now, the reason I'm kind of protecting my health here is I've got that slam skill. This thing I can use to stun the Ghost King and hit him for 10 damage. Okay, so the Zeal Nuts, what do we do about it? Um, I could just take 2 damage and throw out the Plate Helm, basically. And the problem with that is that then it's going to be frozen on, on, on the second attack. And not parried. So the next attack will hit me for 8. So parrying it is sort of important. I could take this Lord's Helm and just use it and the Plate Helm to parry it. And kill it like I did with the Lion's Guard. Is that worth it? Um, sure. Let's do that. So I pay gold for this. That should be fine though. That should be quite alright. 
Okay. And do I want to pick up one of these lock boxes? Yeah, let's pick up a lock box. That's fine. Eh, this is only two. All right, we'll take a bow. Then I can shoot this guy once. And what? Take three damage. Maybe if I... Let me taunt here, actually. Yeah, that could be good. The taunting. Chainmail is interesting. But gold is useful, because every piece of gold I have lets me use this an extra time. Let me actually just go ahead and kill this guy using a gold for my infinite five armor. I mean, five armor is a lot of armor. Five armor blocks a lot of things in this game. Um, I'll take two damage to kill the skeleton. I would like that slam to come back. And I would... Oh, oh wait a minute. There's another one of those skeleton skates. Slight change of plans. I'm going to buy this chainmail mainly for the healing. I heal two when I pick it up, and I also heal for two by not taking any damage from these skeletons. I feel like that's, I feel like that's worth it. As opposed to spending gold to use the Lord's Helm twice. I can spend two gold to get the chainmail, but which also heals me for two. So I get two extra healing that way. Okay, there's the crowbar. Main problem now is that if I buy this crowbar, I don't have room for the armor it gives me because of the stupid uh, longbows here. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to pick up the crowbar. And then I'm going to taunt. There's a chance another enemy comes out and lands on the top row. It's possible. That's exactly what happened. Okay, so we're going to shoot this thing. And now... Will blow up that mainly just to get the plate mail. Now I can kill this because I shot him with a bow earlier. And, um, should I? Yeah, let's just use the plate mail up. It's fine. Okay. So now we can slam. I could buy this to increase my base attack. However, I think I'd prefer to just keep the four gold to use this four times. Ah, he does have a six attack. Hmm. So what I could do is I could parry the middle one to stop this one. But the problem is then, uh the stupid snowflake stamp. I'm actually not going to parry it because he's going to be, yeah. No, no, no. I parry the first attack. He's parried, frozen, and then I can parry again. Ah, uh, then he's going to hit me with six. But that's way far down the road. Okay, we'll just we're just going to do it. So let's pop this up. And then... This is going to be a very slow process. So here, I'm at full health. Actually, I'm going to I'm gonna parry again. So what I'm going to do is let him do this. And then when we get here, I'm going to stun this one. For 10 damage. And then he's... What? Oh, it, it cancels two attacks? I did not know that. Okay, I'm going to flee real quick. Because now I can pick up this thing and just kill him in two hits. It's close because he does heal for one. Do I actually need to use the tile? Um, shoot. I may, maybe I, I don't think I need to use the tile. No, I don't need to use it. Okay, so we're just we're just kind of. Oh God, I, I did what I said I was not gonna do. I was like overanalyzed about saving the tile. To get five extra gems at the end. Who oh boy. All right. Well, thanks for watching, everybody. Hope you enjoyed it. Please like and or subscribe, and I'll see you again soon. If you want to stick around, let's check out the rewards. This looks like garbage. Well, so I don't want this bow. I don't want this thing. I don't use the weapons as much. And then this is just like, ugh. I guess the bow is the least bad, but I will happily pitch that bow from my deck. Base attacking was by one against damage. Shuffle three copies. That's hilarious because I already have two. This counteracts my martial stamp, I guess. I don't use that many weapons, though. I'm not going to have this very often. Shoot, this is just stupid. I mean, these flexes, I'm just never going to use them all. So it's really just like extra tiles that are just not enemies that I can pitch for golden health. Or this. So this is kind of like the Giant Slayer stamp where it increases your base attack against bosses by two. Because bosses, you damage them. And then from that point on, it's like by one. That's kind of good, I guess. Uh, we'll try this. Maybe champion is the right call. I'm not sure. Okay. Once again, no armors or anything good. I don't want this thing. I could buy this lockbox. I have so many gems, though. Let's just find a freaking armor here. Come on, game. Oh, my God. This is unbelievable. 
Are these the only cards in the game? There's no other cards in the game besides these cards that I'm seeing over and over? All right, well, we'll just do this again. Okay, finally. Each time you attack, increase the ammo for the remainder of the dungeon. Okay, so if you manage to like get durability back with it, it can get pretty good. Right now it's a 4-4, four, because four, I'm a brawler. It's not terrible. I'm gonna get this though. It's like a chain mail with an extra use that gets you some gold back. Don't think I want a third crowbar, but I am gonna get this. This is actually nifty. It's 15 damage for a gold. Yeah, it's split across three enemies, and yeah, they gotta be at the bottom, but this also turns on my executes. So I think it has some residual value. Now I gotta pitch a card. You know what? I'm just gonna pitch the second bow. I really don't think this bow is worth having in the deck. And uh, yeah, we're, we're good to go here. So thanks for watching. See you again soon. Take care.